as you point out, there's been a lot of change uh, since you've been here. Some of that change we were trying to affect before. I mean, we were under a consent decree with the federal government for a very long time, uh, specifically to deal with uh, brutality and, and rights violations that, that uh, were taking place. Uh, at the same time, we still, have, we still have a lot of progress to make here uh, in terms of, uh, again, that relationship. We're building it, it's getting better, uh, but in absolute terms, uh, we still have our, our issues. I wonder what you make of the suggestions that we have to rethink this on an even bigger scale than we have before. In other words, uh, that quote unquote reforming the police department is not enough and that you've gotta defund or dismantle. Uh, those are maybe not the best descriptive words for what people are talking about, but maybe rethink is, is, is the word that, that best describes that. Uh, as the chief of this department, uh, are you open to the idea that we can rethink policing on a fundamental level? On a fundamental, uh, yes, Stephen. Uh, first, I'm gonna vigorously push back when you or anyone else suggests that we have tremendous work to do, or at least you alluded to that. I'm gonna push back because right. we don't see uh, the fractured relationships that you see in other cities. Uh, and as you pointed out, we were under consent judgment, federal oversight for 13 years. Mm -hmm. We got out from under that within a year of my appointment. So the department has made tremendous progress and continues to make uh, progress. We have a very different police department. Now, are we perfect? Absolutely not. Sure. We're not. There is no perfect anything, and certainly there's no perfect police department. But when you draw a comparison, uh, it becomes abundantly clear that Detroit's very different. And the national landscape, uh, your colleagues on the national level want to know what makes Detroit so different. So we need to start and stop painting uh, the profession with a broad brush. And, 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 if, and let's talk about the elephant in the room because certainly there's a lot of emotion today. I understand it. Mm -hmm. Certainly this chief and, and many in this department, we don't embrace uh, what happened to Mr. Floyd. We took a very firm stand. Uh, in fact, I was probably the first police chief in America that came out and indicated that Mr. Floyd should have been arrested. Uh, not Mr. Floyd, but uh, the officer who the murdered Mr. Yeah. Floyd should have been arrested. That's what police departments do. It's called probable cause. And so when we make those sweeping statements, I have to push back. Now, does it mean that there's no room for improvement? Absolutely. Right. And there are things that we're working on right now to move the needle to the next level. Uh, when you talk about this whole idea of defunding, I mean, conceptually, it's probably a, a bad word or a bad way to describe, but when you talk about, well, we don't think uh, a police department should be directly involved in the servicing of individuals suffering from mental illness. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, social workers, uh, we've been crying out for, for years now about the broken system and there needs to be improvement. But however, Stephen, we mustn't forget that if we're dealing with a mentally ill person and that person exhibits violence, that is a police concern. One of the things that we've seen an uptick in, particularly since COVID, a dramatic increase in the number of critical incidents that we have had to respond to with our special response team. I'm talking about barricaded suspects, armed suspects who are directly a threat to our community. We've had to respond to manage those things and the numbers have increased. I think we've, uh, over that period, I think from May 25th to current, 11 such incidents. And of that number, 70%, 70% we know are individuals suffering from mental illness. So it's a big challenge. So there's a lot of dynamics in play. And I just would ask that we take a step back in a non-emotional way, 